So recently I took some portraits of a friend with a, no, I will say probably not an unconventional way, but on an, on an orthodox way, but no, I'll say probably in an unconventional lens, with an unconventional lens. That's what we're gonna talk about today. So yeah, you can think maybe that the um, macro lens is probably not the best option for these kind of photos because there is more use for product photography, food photography, and all that kind of stuff. But to be honest, I use it probably like 80, 85, I would dare to say 90% of the time. Why? I want to say because I'm not I'm a variable, I don't know. <laughs> but I, you know, I, I love it. I love it because it, it has a, a beautiful, beautiful depth feel. You can have everything blurry in the background, but hey, you, you also had the 50 mil and the 85 mil 1.2 and, and both 1.2 and, and the 100 is at 2.8. Actually, the three of them work perfectly, but I feel more comfortable with 100 mil. Why? Because you can take some amazing and beautiful shots with it. Uh, portraits, actually, which that's the main thing of this video and I just can't stop loving it I love it I use it like I said I use it like 80 85 90 percent of the time with everything I, I even done b-roll with it yeah I know b-roll I love trains you hear that I would love to take some photos, some a photo shoot on a train, like on the actually, an, uh, uh, yeah, like a, not like a, yeah, like a passenger train, yeah, but more like a, like a freight train or something like that. Oof, that'll be amazing. And yeah, as I said, you just can't, you just, you just can, you just can't go wrong with that, uh, with that lens. Um, the photos that I've taken, uh, if, if, even in the portrait, uh, the um, food photography, they're as you can see like right now they're beautiful they're crispy there's one that i'm really really kind of proud of um the burger which is showing up now i prefer the whole thing i did the whole thing i could the whole thing i didn't use any of those uh those artificial stuff you know that correct me if i'm wrong people but i've seen like um i've read for the uh for for steak to make it more juicy they use like car oil for the burgers for my um the you know the fast food joints and whatnot uh they just cut like the, the the back of the cheese and they put it like uh, uh uh just showing the front of the cheese and who knows maybe some uh pros or the, or the food photography the, the, they might uh they might look at this at this photo and they say ah i kind of like in this and be my guest absolutely i'm i'm down for constructive uh feedback and whatnot so uh, i'm really really pro that honestly i'm proud of that one because uh the the, the, the cheese melted Oh my God, it, it was just beautiful how it, how it was. It was perfectly melt. Uh, just covering the whole patty, it was, it, it was beautiful. And also, I think like the other one that I'm actually proud of, it will be the photo of still talking about product photography. I would say probably the other one is the, uh, the beer bottle from uh, Dos Equis. That one, whew, I, I would say probably it'll it, it took me like 30 minutes. 35 minutes to actually come with the idea and in the end it was just something so simple it's funny how sometimes we kind of like block ourselves in, in in our minds and uh and just we had like a that stroke of of, of creativity and, and 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 it actually hit us and boom everything everything comes to fruition no? so uh so this beer bottle it was amazing you can see it like right now all the all, all the details all the little bubbles all that all the frost uh, no frost the condensation and you can see it on the, on the, on the bottle and, and the cap and the label. It's, it's just so beautiful. Uh, I really like the lining, how, and this one specifically, the lining compensates with, uh, not, not compensates, uh, it, um, I forgot the word, but it goes with the bottle and it's, and it's beautiful, beautiful. So I don't know, you, what do you guys think? Tell me about, about your experience with a 100 millimeter um, lens. To me, as I said, it's beautiful. I just can't. I just can't get enough of it. Uh, 
I mainly focus probably, I'll say probably portrait. Um, I love the food photography as well. Um, actually, the person who got me into getting into food photography from time to time is uh, the bike shot, Joni. Um, thank you for thank you for that. Um, um, I mean, I don't know her, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm a nobody. I'm just starting this, and and but I wanted to to share my experience and and, and share this passion that connect uh, each um, each each one of us and uh, and everyone into this media. Um, I don't know. I just I hope that you stick around and enjoy this ride and this uh, journey uh, with me, and I would appreciate it so much. Okay. See you in the next one. And also please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I completely forgot about saying that. And it's the most important thing in the social media and YouTube. <laughs> Bye.